Due to time constraints, our team solicited help from all level of physics students in order to build our A-frame and our DOE reactors or design of experiment reactors. This video will highlight the building process of our DOE reactors. Currently, we have two DOE reactors running and we are looking to build more. Using our first DOE reactor set, we can control the amounts of nutrients and gases. Our second reactor set will control the light and dark phases of growth as well as the color or frequency of light, and almost any other variable we want. Using that, we decided which method will foster the most high lipid oil content algae for processing into diesel fuel. Right here, Dan's clamped the end of a PVC pipe cap that is going to serve as the bottom of the small quantity reactors that we're going to have, and he's going to drill a hole in this so we can actually attach some tubing to it. Making a little setup here that will make sure that the little cap will be really stable so that when he drills it there aren't going to be any issues. It won't like fly out of the machine. That usually causes problems. I'm now going to take the uh, one and one fourth cap and I'm going to drill a one half inch hole through the center of it. There's the cat with a good nice circular hole. There we go. Uh, we're going to take this pipe and you're going to stick it on the end of the tube and then you're going to measure 20 and a half inches from the top of the lid and then mark that off so we can cut and make um, tubes for the smaller part of our bioreactor. Awesome. Next you take a saw, cut down on the line, make sure you measure so you don't have to cut twice. And now we got a smaller tube for our bioreactor. All right, I'm going to start working on the actual experimental reactors. What we're going to do is we're going to build the new test tubes, as you can call them, um, for experimenting with the different compositions of air, nutrients, and light growth. And so first off, we're going to put a little bit of plumber's tape on this bar right here. So we can put it on the elbow. All right, so now that I have my plumber, plumber taped up, I'm first just going to get the initial screw started. Then I'm going to take my channel lock wrench and my socket wrench, and I'm going to get this barb on here as tight as I can. And there we have that part so far. Okay, I'm continuing what John started. So we're going to use the marine adhesive. And we're going to put it on uh, this threaded thing, and it's going to go inside, and this will be inside the tube then, and then it will go through this little hole that we have, and then we'll screw it on to the thing that John made. So we're going to put a little down. Then we just want like a light coating of the adhesive. Then we're going to stick it through this hole. So now the threads are through. And we'll put this part on. And oh, let me get a nice close up on that bad boy. Turn it up a little. Yeah. It's nice. Pulling all our parts together. And it will look like, when we're done, it'll look like this. It'll go there and it'll screw on here. Uh, but first, because the marine adhesive doesn't stick to PVC, um, you have to use this primer stuff.
and then we put the marine adhesive inside. Next, we're gonna. Yeah, I just did that yesterday. Next, we're gonna put the tube into the fixture. C12 tube. The C12 tube. I think we're gonna that. Uh, and then we went ahead after we everything dried, and we put in the tubes and the air stone and the check valve just like we did on the bigger jugs. And uh, we're gonna go bang a couple out and show you what the finished product will look like. Stuff. Oh my God.